Hi, welcome to my channel, Gigi's Altered Objects. After ordering the paints three different times to do the outside of the shadow box, I finally got the paints in. <laughs> so I've put a coat of this Waverly chalk on the outside, and then we're gonna do two different techniques to give it an aged patina. On the outside, we're going to do um, resistance. A resistance painting. Let me show you what I did to the inside. I wanted to have more than one or just two little rooms so I fashioned out of cardboard these stairs and I think I'll also be able to put some objects actually on the stairs and then I put a little wall petition here. So on the inside it's going to be a little harder with all these nicks and cracks to do a um, resistant so to make the inside look old I'm going to put some of that same brand folk art crackle and then we'll put another paint on top of it so for the outside to do the resistance um, and I've only tried this no that's not true I mostly use chalk paint but I have done this with um, an acrylic paint down first and then the candle, and then the chalk paint, and that does work as well. But for this one, I'm doing chalk paint on both. So you wanna rub the wax of your candle, and you want to get it especially thick around corners and edges, because that's where we're going to do some uh, scraping, and this will help the next coat uh, come come off in just the right spots and with your first coat you don't have to be real um, thorough the second coat you will with the next color um, but because of putting a whole nother color on top if you find some places that oh maybe I should have put it a little thicker it's really not going to matter once you do the next step okay here my feet are going in there. So I decided to do the outside of it first on purpose. Um, but even if I get some of the crackle paint on the outside, that's only going to help the aged patina anyway. Oh, I also have these cute, like, isn't that cute? Put that little doorknob on one side, and I'm ha not sure about this if I'm going to remove it or not. But I'm going to add this little hardware to the outside of it too. I don't know if you watched some of the other videos of the um, little altered items that I've already started to put inside of it. There's going to be like a sewing room. Um, there's going to be a kitchen area. There's going to be kind of like a. Uh, man cave <laughs> area and kind of a science area and then down here at the bottom i think i'm going to put um, different little jars with different little things um, on the top i've made the jars already and one of them is a light and i think um, on that i tried to i tried to represent all the other rooms that I'm going to be doing. So I might do that at the bottom too. Put a little up here. You mostly want to worry about getting the edges. That's where you're going to do most of the scraping. And I don't think I'm going to worry about the bottom. It'll probably get um, some felt treatment on the very bottom of it. But I do want to get the sides. made to be hung up. It could sit on a desk. So again, we're just getting the whole thing waxed up. I get to go to Joanne's and pick up the second coat. It's kind of a off linen type color. And 
maybe it's because now the Joann's can be open for curbside. But I tried Joann's and all I got was my material. But I didn't get the staple gun to recover the chairs. I may have to reorder that. I did it from Joann's and then I did it from Walmart. And then when they said the Joann's would be able to open up for curbside, I did it again and I was successful that time. All right, I think I'm going to put a little around the door. Places that normally get wear and tear. Okay, that is all ready. Now, I um, need to take a dry brush and get some of the bigger pieces off of this. Just brush it. Don't want to use your heat tool or your, to blow it off. Oh, but you know what you have? Computer cleaner. That might work well. Oh, yeah. I'm using a little air. I guess Theodore didn't care for that sound. All right, now on the inside, give it a couple more blasts here. On the inside, and the reason I'm doing this is that with all the little bits and parts, I'm afraid that it, I won't be able to get in there and scrape just the way I want. Okay, um, let's see, what is the rule of thumb on this? Um, thinner applications create a fine crackle look, and thick ones create a wide, more weathered look. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the stairs. Um, on the walls, I'm also going to use some of Tim Holtz cool wallpaper. They actually went and found wallpaper in old-timey buildings and replicated it. And they had to go through, um, he was talking about the process to make sure that it, you know, didn't belong to anyone else and have some type of copying issues as he said people send things in all the time oh use this but that's kind of hard to do because you don't know where who owns it I guess so you don't see the crackle with this um, paint until you put the second coat on I don't know if you, if you used it before or not but you won't see really anything. This is just the primary. And we're going to let this dry. And I'm going to run to Joann's and let them bring my next coat of paint out and put it in my trunk. And then we will move on to the next step. So we will do, I think we'll do the inside first. All right. The next coat of paint that we're going to put on is this home decor. It's still the same folklore type paint. And the name of this one is Bavarian. And of course, I'm going to put all the information on where I got these in the description box below. So we're going to do this on the inside. And it's going to give a crackle effect. It doesn't start until it dries and then on the outside of the box we're going to do um, the distressed now one thing it does say when you're using the crackle you should use chalk paint 
and use as many long brush strokes, brush strokes as you can. Um, when you're putting that crackle paint on first, and I think I already told you this, but I've stopped the video. The rule of thumb is that um, the thicker the paint is, the larger the crackles will be. And the thinner, the, that's for the actual crackle paint. And I use the same um, folklore home decor crackle. And I will put those, of course, in the description box so you can do the same thing. So basically, the thicker you put it on, the thicker the crackles will be. The thinner you put it on, the thinner they will be. And look at this, that is wonderful. You can already see how it's crackling on the sides. Love it, love it. So I'm gonna do a little more of this with you. And then I'm gonna turn the um, camera off so I can finish the inside. But before I start the outside, now the outside we did not do the crackle paint with. I did that with a resistance with the candle. And that is gonna be one that we're going to scrape. But um, it's, as I said earlier, it's so funny because you're gonna hear this all at one, but it's been a couple days for me waiting for the paint to get in. But um, the inside would be to, uh, it has a lot of intrinsic small parts that I really want to show an aged patina. Um, so I was afraid that uh, doing the resistance would not work well on the out on the inside of this, but the outside it's going to be wonderful. Um, also on the inside, I'll tell you this before I turn the camera off, I'm also going to use uh, some of Tim Holtz wallpaper and I will include all of that information in the description box but on the floor areas I will use little miniature rugs that have been created and then on the back walls I'm going to include some of Tim Holtz wallpaper. I will tear it so that it looks old and I'll give you as much information on that as I can. It's it's really wonderful. They actually go places and buy the rights to the wallpaper. Sometimes he, he talks about getting a little uh, flustered because people are like, oh I found this, but you can't just uh, go and take a photo of something and necessarily have the rights to it, as you can imagine. All right, so I am going to finish. Can you see how wonderful this crackle effect is happening? I will do a little bit more to make sure you see it, even on these side pieces. And I did paint each of those, and then I put the crackle on it. And after that, of course, I'm putting this coat of another of the folk art paints. And as I said, on a lot of the walls, I am going to put some of his wonderful um, wallpaper. But I am really liking the way this is looking right now. I mean, already, look right here, how that patina is looks so old like it's just supposed to be that way I love this all right so I'm gonna finish the inside and I'm not gonna do the outside until I turn the camera back on because that as I showed you earlier is a whole different type of effect we're doing that one with a resistance I did not put the crackle paint on that I we rubbed it down with the um, wax candle and we will have to remove some of it to get the uh, proper effect but I certainly am loving the way this is happening 
sometimes I'm naughty and I don't look up at the camera enough. I do hope that you're seeing how wonderful, especially on the doors, that this crackle effect is happening. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish giving this a uh, thin coat of this Bavarian chalk paint, and then we'll I will come back and do the outside with. This is the wonderful patina of the crackle effect of the inside. Now the outside will not have that same patina because we're going to do uh, some resistance. We're going to scrape it and it already has of course the wax candle that I showed you before rubbed all over it and so that is going to be what's going to make that patina. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish painting the outside and then before I do any scraping I will come on and show you. I am loving the way this crackle effect turned out on the inside of the shadow box. Um, what I will do, um, but I'm going to do it in another video on the inside when I determine which space is going to be which room, I'll look at all the little bottles and the different things that I've made and find use some of this Tim Holtz wallpaper. Um, on the background, I'm still deciding whether I'm going to just rough the edges or perhaps I'm going to do some tearing because I, I want it to have that old effect. But um, this is such cool wallpaper. And I'll, of course, include all the materials that I've used thus far <coughs> in the project in the, uh, in the description box below. All right, so now that the outside, or the inside is finished, um, and the outside is dry, remember, um, of course, I'm doing this in days, but you'll see it all at once. Underneath this on the outside, we rubbed it with a candle and that's going to help create a resistance. And so then when we take our scraping tool and go around the edges, I'm going to leave this part because it's crackly. That's really good. But I'm going to add some more over here. I'm just distressing the outside. Um, especially round corners around the places that naturally get distressed. And I also, also have this little brush and I'm going to use that. It's a metal brush and I'm sorry I'm not sure why I picked it up. I was probably looking at um, one of the, you know, like Home Depot or Lowe's when I first started doing this. Oh, I love the way that is looking. And then it gets in the cracks a little bit too. And it's quite easy to use. Just to distress it up some. I'm not going in any particular pattern. I, I'm trying to do that um, on purpose because it, you want it to have the most natural effect. If you have a particular pattern, you're not gonna you're not gonna get that effect. Okay, I'm gonna open the doors and do a little more scraping around the edges. Oh yes, I'm loving it. A little on the inside, because that's where you would naturally have wear and tear. So as I finish this up, I'm going to tell you that um, this will be the last video for a little while on this particular project. I'm going to need to set it aside. Um, my stepsister, Teresa, her oldest daughter, Tasha, so my niece, Tasha, 
her youngest daughter just is a graduate of 2012. And of course, they don't know if they're gonna even get to do a walk. Um, they live, uh, Tasha might be in Grand Junction. Uh, some of them are in Wyoming, and, and I have the address, so I should have looked at that. Um, but anyway, she has asked, I'm in Texas, she's asked some of us to put together a care package for her graduating senior. So I'm going to create a junk journal. I asked her what the school colors were and she sent me all that information. And I asked her uh, what different things Justice is interested in. And one thing she likes is dogs. So I'm thinking I'll um, make her a really cool girly junk journal. And I'm gonna make her some type of a trinket box. I have several wooden boxes left. I may use one of those, but I'm going to use the uh, Graphic 45 paper, uh, Raining Cats and Dogs. So she needs that pretty quickly because she wants to give it to her on their would-be graduation day. So I'm going to have to set this project aside for a little bit, but I promise I will come back and uh, share with you when I start doing each of the little rooms. All right, so I'm just going to finish um, aging this up, and I'm very happy with the way this looks. It's just exactly what I had in mind. Okay, happy crafting. Stay safe.